Hi, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to control the brightness of an LED fade it in or fade it out using SunFounders ESP32 module with the extension board. ESP32 starter kit from SunFounder. This is the best ESP32 learning kit from SunFounder. It has this ESP32 microcontroller which has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This board can do everything Arduino Uno can do or many other Arduinos can do, plus extra more features. Because we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the possibilities are endless. You can get connected to the cloud or do the control or read information or values via your mobile device or your desktop or over the cloud from a far location. It comes with a camera extension kit where you can stream the video over Wi-Fi either through the cloud or to your network and also it comes with micro SD card where you can save uh, images on the micro SD card or you can write from the device any information, log the information on the device and read it back. You can power the board using this included 18650 lithium battery and it has built-in charger where you can connect micro USB and charge the battery. The kit comes with 320 pieces of component that you can learn tons of projects. To the home page, let's see the documentation page. Click here for Arduino user and 2.1 Hello LED. This is the documentation page. It has explanation and wiring diagram and an actual wiring and at the bottom there is also code if you are using cloud you can connect it via your browser generally digital signal looks like this these are all times each line and when the signal goes let's say 5 volts or 3.3 volts the voltage doesn't matter so it goes to that value or it come and it comes back to zero and then it has now two seconds off or zero and then it becomes high and then low. So this area that the voltage is maximum is called high and the area that is zero is called low. So this is a digital signal and this digital signal will have something called pulse width modulation and this signal, the width of this is 20% of the signal because the signal starts from here to here that's one cycle so this is 20% and this is 60% because the high time is larger so the high time is longer than the small time and 20% the time that it was high was very shorter one fifth so it, this was 20% and this is a 20% duty cycle signal the on time or high time and low time are the same the high time and low time are the same and here this is a 20% duty cycle and if you compare the three signals together so this is a 10% duty cycle duty cycle is the time that it is on and this is 30% and this is 50% so 60% duty cycle mean three-fifths of a signal and so 60% duty cycle means three-fifths of a signal and 20% duty cycle means one-fifth of the signal time the signal is high and 100% duty cycle means full signal uh, always high and this is an example of 100% duty cycle when the signal is 5 volts for Arduino and for ESP32 it will be 3.3 volts And here is the wiring. We are looking at the diagram. Uh, we, have already ex we have already explained this in a previous lesson. We have a 220 ohm resistor is connected to pin 26. And the other side of resistor is connected to anode of LED and the cathode of LED is connected to the ground. And here on the breadboard, this side is uh, anode which is connected to resistor and from this point it is connected so let's do that 
here, this, here is my LED and this is the long pin on this side. I'm just inserting it somewhere on the breadboard like that. And then this is a 220 ohm resistor from the package. Get one and one side will be connected to the same pin as the LED and the other side somewhere on the board. Black wire from the left pin connected. It goes to this point where it, later on this becomes ground and it is connected to ground or GND. But we can connect it directly from GND from here. So that is ready. And now this side will be connected to where you connected the resistor. So the blue is connected somewhere in the same line as the resistor. Here is my board. Now to make sure that the wiring is correct, connect the ground to the ground. The second pin is ground from this side of USB. And this one is, we will connect it to pin 3.3 volts, the last pin. If the wiring is correct, your LED should turn on. Now, according to this diagram, we connect it to pin 26. And here I've connected it to pin 26 as shown in the diagram. Now let's see how we can define functions so we can fade an LED. The first function is called LED C that refers to language C setup and then it has opening closing parenthesis and it, it has three parameters. Each parameter is separated with comma and the first one is password modulation channel on ESP32 and this is the frequency and the last one is the resolution. Uh, for example, we can set the pulse modulation channel 1 and the frequency at 5000 Hz and the resolution in terms of bit, it will be 8. On ESP32, it's from 1 to 20 bits. Then we need to attach a pin. So we use LEDC attach pin. It has two parameters. Now, separated with comma, and here we will enter the GPIO pin, and the last one is the pulse width modulation channel. So we say this pin should act as pulse width modulation. For example, we can enter 26, pin 26 to be pulse width modulation channel 1. So this will be done in the setup, and then for the action that we do, we will re write LEDC write, so we are writing the value to the pen, and it has two parameters separated with comma. The first one is the GPIO pen. The second one is a duty value uh, from 0 to 255. For example, we can enter 25, and this could be, for example, 175, and this pen 26 will go around 50% of the brightness. Uh, set. And this uh, 175 is like 50%. I believe it's half of 255, so it will be half of brightness of an LED is set uh, with pin 26. So for summary, we first need to do LEDC setup, uh, channel 1 password modulation, 5000 Hz with 8-bit resolution. Then we have to attach a pin. So we are attaching pin 26 to channel 1. This was the same channel that we defined in the setup. And then we can use the pen using LEDC uh, right, like pen 26 at 125 value. Open the project by clicking on File, Open, go to Download. ESP32 starter kit main, click on C folder and then go to codes and then 2.2 .2 is fading LED. Double click to open it and this is a file, click and click open. This is the same as the previous lesson, we are defining pin 26 as LED pin with the type integer and set it to as constant so it cannot change. 
this variable is holding the brightness of LED. Initial value is zero with a type integer, and then the fade amount. Because we have from zero to 255, we can go with the steps of five if we want. So this is for the step. We use, L we use here the LEDC setup. This is the pen or pulse modulation channel zero with 5 kilohertz frequency and, uh, and this is the bit rate, 8 bits. Usually we do not change these two, we just change the channel, which channel we want. And then now for this channel we have to attach it to the LED pen. Then we say LEDC, at this line, in this line we are attaching the channel 0, this channel which is 0, to this pen. So this means the same pen, this is as if I type here 26, but because we are using it multiple times, we are using the variable, and this is attaching the pen. This runs once, and here we say LC, LEDC, this is a C language, write channel 0 with the amount of brightness, which is 0. So this will turn the LED with a minimum amount of brightness. Then we set the brightness by getting the brightness plus the fading. So initially it was 0 plus 5. Now this will be 5 because this is a loop. Now 5 plus this fade amount here plus the brightness which is 0. So now this is 0. And here we check if the brightness is smaller than 0. This is comparing it less than or equal 0. So this is one condition. And these two vertical line means or if the brightness is 0 or less than 0 or brightness is greater than or equal to 55. If this is out of bound, it means this means less than 0 and that means less more than 255. Then we say go in reverse. How? We say get the amount and set it to negative. So now this will be negative and when it comes next time here, uh, next time here it will be reduced. So this is just taking care of the bound, making sure it never goes ab above 255 and below um, uh, 0. And here the delay is 50 milliseconds and the code reaches here and comes back and sets the value of the brightness. But pay attention, now we, are, we have added, that now this is 5. In the previous step, it was 5. Now we get 5 plus 5. Now this time it becomes 10. And it uh, comes back and sets it at 10. And it becomes uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, up to 255. When it reaches above 255, then it goes in reverse. And it becomes from 255, it becomes uh, 250, 245, 255. Uh, 40 and to 35 and so forth until it becomes zero and it goes back and up. So up and down and up and down with a delay of 50 milliseconds, we will see the brightness is changing. My ESP32 is already connected to computer and make sure the board is selected. If not, click on tool, board, and come to ESP32 and select ESP32 dev module. After that, we have to select the port. Uh, right click on the uh, start menu, go to device manager. Let's see what port it is. And here uh, under the port, we have shown you before. Now, again, mine shows port 8. Yours might be different. Whatever it is, just remember it because if you connect multiple devices, you will have different numbers. And here, click on tool. And then COM port, if you see multiple of this, select the one that you saw under the device manager. So 8 is selected. And now everything is ready. Let's just upload the code. First it compiles it and then sends it to the, downloads it to the ESP32. The code have been uploaded and here a 
as you can see it's fading increasing and decreasing from the top you will not see it much or maybe you can see it yeah but here maybe a little better so this is the amount if you want this to go very fast you can reduce it let's say make it 20 and let's upload the code when this is finished you will see 100 percent here this will take effect still the old code is running and now the code has changed it is now going faster and if you want to make it very slower just increase this time and it will do the same thing in a longer period of time the other way to change the brightness step faster is the amount of fade uh, this is written 5 if I make this 10 and upload the code you will see that this will fade very faster twice as fast wait until it's 100 percent and now as you can see this is fading so fast we cannot even see it perhaps five is better maybe even reduce it, uh, it it's up to you